Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Deep Stop Scuba, and today we're going to be discussing dive computers, specifically the Oceanic VO 4.0, which is the dive computer that you're going to be using for your open water scuba course. Let's have a quick look at our outline. First, we want to discuss diving physiology. Next, we'll look at a very basic dive history. After that, we'll talk about dive tables briefly, and then following that, we will discuss the Oceanic VO 4.0 dive computer. Let's look at a couple of objectives. First, we want to be able to explain why our dive computers are an essential piece of dive gear. In addition to that, we want to make sure we're able to understand the basic operations of the Oceanic VO 4.0 dive computer. So, as we dive, the deeper we go, the more air from our cylinder we're breathing. Now, the nitrogen in that air will make its way into your lungs, into your blood, and then into your soft tissues. And what it does is it actually saturates those tissues. Now, when we come up, we want to make sure we come up slowly so that that nitrogen can come out of our systems properly. And that means from the tissues, back into the bloodstream, into your lungs, and then exhaled out. Decades ago, the Navy ran a series of tests where they looked at divers at different depths and how long they could stay at those depths before they had to come up. Otherwise, those divers ran the risk of developing decompression sickness or the bends because they weren't able to off-gas or get rid of that nitrogen out of their systems properly. From those tests that the Navy did came the dive tables. And I've got an example of one right here. As you can see, there's a lot of information and it can be overwhelming. Now how I would use this is I want to do a dive down to 60 feet. And I see diving regular air, I can stay at 60 feet for 60 minutes before I have to come up slowly. Otherwise, I run the risk of a decompression obligation. The issue with the dive tables is we don't normally do a dive down to say 60 feet and then come right back up. We'll do a dive down to 60 feet, slowly work our way up to 30 feet, slowly work our way up to 15 feet, do our safety stop, and then exit the water. Well, the dive tables don't give us credit for those shallower depths during the dive. And that's why the dive tables are inferior to the dive computer. And this is the dive computer that we're going to use for your open water course. Now why don't I show you how we turn this on. There's actually two options. The first option is you can just press either one of these two buttons here and it's going to turn the computer on. As you can see it counts down from 10 and there's our display. The other option on the back, there's actually a couple of sensors and you can kind of see uh, one of them's right there, the other one's over here. What happens is if you end up getting in the water and you don't turn your computer on, those sensors are going to detect the water and it's going to turn the computer on for you. Now Again, you always got to be doing your buddy checks 100% of the time. So there really is no reason that you should be getting in the water with your computer off. Now I want to show you what it looks like when you do get in the water with the dive computer off. And there it goes. It turns on for us. So it's a nice safety feature that the computer has in case there's some user error involved. So when we look at the display, at the bottom here it says error because that's what the computer is currently set to. Down here is your dive time. Now obviously we're not diving, we're above the surface so it's at zero. That number in the middle is the time, it's 9.50 p.m. And this number up here is your surface interval. Now, because I just turned the computer on, it's saying one minute because that's how long the computer's been on for. What happens is, is after you do a dive and you come out of the water, that top number is going to start counting up. And 
most of the time you do a surface interval of about 45 minutes to an hour and once you get to that point you can go ahead and do your second dive but that's the purpose of that number up there it tells you what your surface interval is in between dives another nice feature of the oceanic computer is it has a backlight so what I'm going to do is I hit the select button and as you can see it illuminates for me now this can be set for either five seconds or ten seconds for the illumination it's really great if you're on a night dive and you need to see your information perhaps you're diving in conditions where there's less light you're a little deeper in the water or perhaps you've got a shipwreck next to you which is blocking some of the sunlight from above so it's a nice little feature to be able to read the information on the face of the screen. Now that we know how to power on our computer and what the home page looks like, let's take this thing underwater and see what it can really do. This is where we will be diving today. This is Owasco Lake located in the heart of the Finger Lakes region of New York towards the south end near Moravia. It's a really nice dive site, very easy entry and exit for divers. All right, so we are underwater. As you can see, the face of this dive computer is a really nice size. It's very easy to see the numbers, the information that you want to be able to look at while you're doing your dive. So what I want you to notice here is that number in the middle, that 35, is your no decompression limit number. Remember, as a recreational diver, we do not want that number to reach zero ever. So the number above it is the depth that you're at. Right now I'm at 51 feet and I am ascending, so that number is going to get smaller. And you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, 66 feet is the maximum depth that I reached on this particular dive. And that number in the lower right-hand corner is the dive time so far. I'm at 21 minutes. You're going to see on the left hand side of the screen there are three little bars that's an indicator of my nitrogen loading in my tissues and on the right side there should be some bars that show my ascent rate as I come up there was one there for a little second and I think it's going to show again here real quick there it is right there there's two so that shows your ascent rate and here we are on our safety stop so you can see I am at a depth of 15 feet and it is counting down. I've been on my safety stop for almost three minutes. I've got about 15 seconds left. You can see it right there at the bottom. It's counting down. It's a really nice feature that this computer has. And we have finished our dive. I just wanted you to see that top number. I've been out of the water for 12 minutes, so it's already counting my surface interval up. I'm at home now and I want to check out my dive log so what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance now remember it shows me the last dive that I did which was down to 66 feet for a total dive time of 34 minutes I'm going to continue through the options and this is that no fly screen so this is telling me that I cannot get on a plane and fly for another 15 hours and 56 minutes remember after you get out of the water from your last dive, you should wait 24 hours before getting on a plane. So I'm going to continue to scroll through here. And now I'm at the dive log, so I'm going to select that. And this is showing me the last dive that I did. I got in the water at 12.18 p.m. And that was today's date, June 28th. So I'm going to hit select again to go to the next screen. And it's showing me there that my maximum depth was 66 feet. And my total dive time was 34 minutes. Now this number up here remembers the surface interval, so that's telling me between the first dive that I did today and the second dive, I did a surface interval of 55 minutes. And during that surface interval, it allowed me to off-gas or eliminate some of that nitrogen that I inhaled during the first dive. Now, if I want to get back to the home page, I just hit both buttons at the same time and it takes me back to my home page. So the last feature I want to show you here is the Bluetooth technology that the computer offers. Now I've already synced up 
the computer with my cell phone. There's a dive app that you can download onto your smartphone called DiveLog Plus. And I've already done that here. So there's a f quite a few options that I have. I can actually change the settings for my dive computer right here within the app. So instead of having to go into the dive computer, I can actually change things like the various alarms, the gas mixtures. It's a really cool little feature. I can go into utilities if I want to. Now, down here, there's a little log book. I can click that and it shows various dives that I've already downloaded onto the app from the computer. So I'm going to choose the last dive that I did and you can see the dive profile here. I'm not exactly proud of it but we were working on some skills. Now I can click on any part of this profile and it's going to give me real-time information. So where that little circle is right there, it's saying I was at 41 feet and that's at the 25 minute mark of the dive. The water temperature was 44 degrees. And as I scroll down here, there's other other information that you can look at from your dive. It obviously shows you the date and time, max depth, the lapse dive time, and so on. So it's a really nice little feature for all of you tech savvy individuals. You can even add uh, your dive buddy. You can put pictures up if you want. And you can even upload YouTube videos. So just a really great fun feature that you can utilize with this particular computer. Let's review our objectives and discuss some key points. Our first objective was to explain why our dive computers are an essential piece of dive gear. Well, it gives us a constant tracking of decompression status. It allows us more time underwater with multi-level diving techniques. It gives us accurate depth and time recordings, as well as an ascent rate indicator. Another objective was to understand the basic operations of the Oceanic VO 4.0 dive computer. We discussed the computer when it's in surface mode. We discuss the various features when it's in dive mode. We also discussed briefly the Bluetooth technology that this dive computer offers. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and found its content beneficial. And remember, here at Deep Stop Scuba, we make your scuba dreams come true.